Hi and welcome to Mathematics Made Easy Made Easy.com. Here today today we are going to talk about time and work. This course is dedicated for class seven students which are studying in CBSE and ICSE boards. So we'll just only cover the concepts which are required for class seven for time and work topic. Before starting to uh, to this topic, let's talk a little bit about how we can correlate with time and work. So, say for example, suppose you have you have uh, one work which you complete that in two days. So, if a work can be completed in two days, so how much part of work would be completed in one day? That is one by two. One by two can be done. Work can be done today, and one by two work can be completed tomorrow. Right. Similarly, if I say that there is a person who can complete the work in three days, the whole work can be completed in three days. So, how much work he will be finishing in one day? That will be one third, right? One by three in first day, one by three in second day, and one by three in third day. Similarly, if I say that there is a person who can complete the whole work in four days, so in first day he will complete one by fourth in second day he will complete one by fourth in third day he will complete one by fourth and fourth day he will complete one by fourth of work right so we can generalize this thing and can say that if there is a work which can be completed in n days then one day of work would be one by n right the same concept will will discuss in in the coming slide apart from that if a work can be completed in n days right so one by n work can be completed in would be completed in how much time one by n days so let's let's basically let's uh, look at the concept then we'll, it will be clear much so suppose it is if it is given as like a man can do a work in 5 days then the work of a day of that of a man would be 1 by 5 right i just 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 discussed similarly if a if a man a can complete a piece of work in n days then its one day of work would be 1 by n just think about in reverse way that if it is given as that uh, uh, a's one day of work is n if someone's one day of work is 1 by n then how much time it will take to complete the whole work we will just reverse it that would be n right so on the on the concept of these 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 two concepts we will do some examples so that this logic can be clear much so the question is given as like if there is a person a which can do a piece of work in 20 days and there is a person b which can do a piece of work in 30 days so how much how long will a and b take working together so from the given question we can say that a is one day work is 1 by 20 and b is one day of work would be 1 by 30 because A can complete the work in 20 days, so its one day of work would be 1 by 20. Similarly, if B can complete the whole work in 30 days, so its one day of work would be 1 by 30. So, if you want to figure out that what would be the total work done by A and B in one day, so A and B is of one day of work would be 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30, right? Taking the LCM of 20 and 30, it would be 60. 23 is 60, and 3 ones are 3 plus 30. 2 is 60, and 2 ones are 2. This is a normal simple uh, simplification, and then uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 by 60, and uh, then simplifying the uh, simplifying this particular thing, 5 ones are 1, 5 12 to 60, that is 1 by 12. So A and B is of one day of total work is one by twelve. So how much time A and B will take to complete the whole work if the one day work is one by twelve? So the time required to complete the whole work would be right. That would be twelve. 
just we have just discussed the uh, concept that if uh, a person can complete a work in one by if uh, if one day's work of a person is one by n then the total time taken for the com to complete the whole work could be n right so similarly if the uh, a and b of one day of work is 1 by 12 so a and b will take how much time to complete the work that would be 12 right so a and b together can finish the work in 12 days this is our answer let's see a few more examples so the next question is suppose if a and b together can finish a piece of work in 15 days and if a can finish it in 40 days working separately right then how many days uh, b alone can do it so here uh, it has been given that like, like if an a and b work together they together then they can complete the work in 15 days if a alone can do that uh, can basically uh, work on on the same work then it takes 24 days so it, we are looking for that if b alone works then how much time it will take to complete it so uh, we can easily find out that how much would be the one day of work of a and b so a and b is of one day of work would be 1 by 15 because total time is 15 days so one day work would be 1 by 15 similarly is one day work would be 1 by 24 because to total time taken by a to complete the whole task is 24 days so it's one day work would be 1 by 24 if a and uh, a and b is of one day work is 1 by 15 and a is one day work is 1 by 24 so we can figure out how much is the b's one day work so b is of one b's one day work is 1 by 15 minus 1 by 24 taking out lcm that is 1 by uh, 120 of 15 and 24 we'll simplify this 15 eights are 120 8 ones are 8 minus 24 5s are 120 and 5 ones are 5 simplifying this 3 by 1 for 120 that is 1 1 by 40 so b is of one day work is 1 by 40 so how much time b will take to complete the whole work we will just reverse it that would be 40 days so hence uh, b alone can finish the whole work in 40 days clear okay so moving to the next question that is if a and b can do a piece of work in 20 days b and c can do it in 15 days and c and a can do it in 12 days then in how many days they will finish it together as well as if they work separately then how much time they will take to finish it so in the question it is given as that a and b can finish it in 20 days right so a and b is of one day work would be 1 by 20 similarly b and c is of one day work would be 1 by 15 because b and c takes a total of 15 days to complete the task so b and c is of one day work would be 1 by 15 similarly c and a is of one day work would be 1 by 12 because they take 12 days to complete the task right if we sum these three things then a will appear twice b will appear twice and c will appear twice so taking two as a common two times a plus b plus c is of one day work would be equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 15 1 plus 12 and then we'll take the lcm and simplify this Taking the simply uh, LCM as 60 and then simplifying this, we will get the uh, two times a plus b plus c is of one day work would be one by five because two is in multiplication, so we can send it as a division in the right side. So a plus b plus c is of one day work would be one by five into two, that is one by ten. So a plus b plus c is of one day work is one by ten. So hence we can say that. Uh, a plus b plus c working together can finish the work in total how many days we will reverse it that would be 10 days 
so this is your answer moving to the next part of the question it is looking for that how much time a will take to complete the whole task if he works alone so we can say that a is of one day work would be equal to one day work of a plus b plus c minus one day work of b plus c we know both the values in the previous uh, basically part we have figured out that uh, one day work of a plus b plus c is equal to 1 by 10 right here this thing 1 by 10 and in the question we already know that one day work of b and c is 1 by 15 so we will subtract the one day work of b and c from one day work of a b and a b and c right so in this way we will get the one day work of a that is 1 by 30 so if the a's one day work is 1 by 30 so a will take 30 days in total to complete the whole task if he works alone right similarly we can figure it out for b as well as c so to get the total time required for b to complete the whole task would be one day work of a plus b a plus b plus c minus one day work of a and c correct similarly for c we can figure out like one day work of a b and c minus one day work of a and b in this way we can figure it out uh, one day work of c and then we will come to know the total time required to complete the whole task for c understand okay moving to the next question that is if A can do a piece of work in 12 days while B can do it in 20 days, they work together for 3 days, then A goes away. Then in how many days will B finish the remaining work? In the question it says that A can do a piece of work in 12 days while B can uh, complete it in 20 days. So in the initial 3 days they work together but later a goes away and only b works so how much time b will take to complete the remaining work right so in the question from the question we can figure it out that what is the one day work of a so a is one day work is equal to would be equal to 1 by 12 right because a can complete the whole work in 12 days similarly b is one day of work would be 1 by 20 because b can complete the whole work in 20 days so a and b is of one day work would be equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 20 simplifying this we will get 2 by 15 so a and b b if if work together then they will complete the uh, they so uh, their one day task would be 2 by 15 but in uh, for how many days they work together three, 3 days so let's see that in 3 days how much work they have finished so a and b is of 3 day work would be 2 by 15 into 3 right simplifying it we will get 2 by 5 so 2 by 5 work has already been finished by a and b in first 3 days right so how much work is remained we always assume that the work is 1 so the remaining work would be 1 minus already completed work that is 2 by 5 so 1 minus 2 by 5 equal to simplifying this we will get 3 by 5 right so a is sorry b is one day because now a has left so only b b is there who, who is going to work so b is one day work is how much 1 by 20 so 1 by 20 work is done by b in one days so whole work means one work would be done by b in how many days we will just reverse it that would be 20 days and then how much was the remaining work remaining work is 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 work would be done in b would be done by b in how many days 20 into 3 by 5 5 ones are 1 5 fours are 20 or 4 threes are 12 so simply like this we got the answer as 12 days so b will take 12 more days 
to finish the complete task. Got it?